Hey guys, it's that random dude and today I'm going to be taking a look at the um, Desmum um, DS emulator for the PS Vita. Now, I'm also, I'm also going to be showing you how to install this, so what you'll need, let me just go to Vita Shell. So the install process is pretty simple, I'll put a link in the description below for the, um, the VPK. But you will need to create a folder in data, and I'd call it Desmum, just like this. Just all lowercase Desmum. And you could put all your um, ROMs in here, like your, for example, I have the um, Super Mario 64 in here, Tetris and all that. So you, you just need to make that folder, and it's all the VPK. So with that said, like I said, very simple process. Let's get on to the Desmum emulator. Now this emulator isn't exactly perfect in any way, far from it. If you're looking to play 3D games, they will run pretty bad, because this is a, I suppose, redundant DS emulator, but if you want to play 2D games, it might run okay. As you can see, it's pretty laggy here. This is Tetris DS. I'm just going to show, show it off a bit. Um, you can use a touch screen, like, uh, just like that. Yeah. So, luck, thank you, you can change the touch screen. So, yeah. And yeah, as you can see, not exactly the best thing to use, by any means. But I suppose, you know, if you're tolerant to lag, you know, if you're a weirdo, then yeah. You can go like this to change the orientation. You can press that at the bottom right. Um, now I'm going to try a game that runs fairly well. So it says just yes, it's quite laggy. You have options here to disable jet, disable sound. That might help with frame rate. Oh, there's also um, a frame skip. That might come in handy as well. If your game is really laggy. And you can press L to disable threading, threaded rendering. Those might help with frame rate, but I'm not too sure. Like, options here are pretty limited, unfortunately. But I'm going to try a Game & Watch Collection. Which is a game I know that does run decent on here. So I'm going to try, fuck it, Donkey Kong here. So of course this is a very lightweight DS game. Yeah, I don't even know how to play it, but... Yeah, that runs decently. And I've got a game that runs in 3D. Here's Super Mario 64 DS. Please, Nintendo, do not take this video down, or else I will seriously file a lawsuit. Yeah, even, even at this boot screen, it lags. So, maybe don't, maybe don't try a luck on, um... 3D games like Super Mario. But it does support 3D, as you'll see in a minute. <sighs> yeah, this is far from perfect. Like, I would recommend using the frame skip, definitely. Uh, yeah, this is this is a very boring video, I know, but yeah. Super Mario 64 DS. In terms of graphical glitches, I haven't run into any graphical glitches. I, the only problem here is just the frame rate. That's the only problem. Yeah, but there's Mario. <laughs> it's a me Mario. And of course, you know, this is 3D. So, it does support 3D, which is a good thing. But, yeah. So, what I recommend using Flight, Desmum. What I recommend using Desmum. No, like, if, if you want to use it for, like, really light games, then, yeah, but I don't really recommend it, honestly, like, just wait until, like, the next good DS emulator comes out on the Vita or something like that. This won't exactly cut it, but I hope you guys 
somewhat enjoy that video and stay tuned for more PS Vita hacks and more. See ya.